how did you come up with this idea? Where did it really stem from? Well, uh, the, the genesis was looking at what was happening uh, in the street with the demonstrations and the protests. And, and, and I observed that I do believe our country is at an inflection point. Uh, th th there was, it's almost like the scab was pulled off the, the Band-Aid was pulled off the sore with COVID-19 in terms of the disparities, uh, racial disparities in healthcare, and, and that brought something to the forefront. But it was further uh, spotlighted, highlighted uh, by the reactions to George Floyd's death and uh, uh, the, the other uh, in, in, in injustices. It all seemed to be uh, coming together. And, and so I thought as a CEO of the city that I needed to do something uh, in terms of building upon uh, that momentum, the frustrations and the anger uh, that was being demonstrated on the streets. And, and so I thought I would put together this task force. Its mission is threefold. One is to look at the history of West Palm Beach. Uh, there is no question that West Palm Beach itself has had some systemic racism in its past, and I think we have to be very honest about that. So I want the task force to do a deep dive into our history so that we can ha come to full grips uh, with what we have been as a city. But I don't want to stop there. I wanted to also go into let's look at best practices from other municipalities around the country uh, as to how we can be better. And then I want some specific policy uh, 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 legislation. I want some specific policy suggestions to come to the commission and myself so that we can look at adopting uh, legislation that will make us a better city going forward. For sure. And uh, how long do you guys plan to be on this fact-finding mission? When do you expect to see some actual policy implement implementation? I've given them to, you know, to the end of the year, but I don't want to rush it. I'd much rather get it right than have a rush to, to, to a decision. And, and so there's going to have to be some difficult, honest, candid conversations going on in those rooms because, again, one of the big things is recognizing what we have done or not done uh, in the areas of racial justice, racial and ethnic justice in our own history. We have to be very honest about that. Then those may not be easy conversations. And you've been on, obviously, the commission. You've been a part of the city. So you've you know, had a, a pretty upfront seat to what's going on in the city of West Palm Beach. What are some things you would just point out initially that you've maybe seen up close or you've had told to you from trusted sources that are issues? Well, listen, I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that we've had some, we, we have serious issues when it comes to housing patterns, segregated housing patterns in, in our city. We're in the South, so ed education itself was segregated for a number of years. What impact has that had going, going forward? Uh, and from an economic standpoint, we did an economic study uh, in 2017, which shows that West Palm Beach suffered from a 17% poverty rate, 17%. When we had unemployment, that was around 5%. So there's a disconnect there, and I'm sure there are some systemic causes leading to that very high poverty rate. Those are the kinds of things I want the, 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 the task force to start digging into and uh, seeing how we could do better. Do you feel like there will be an alloc a reallocation of some of your financials um, stemming from this study, or is it too early to say? What you it, it's too early to say. One, one thing is, and I've told, and I've got a couple of people who are going to co-chair this. I don't want to release their names yet because I'm waiting for confirmation. Uh, but I've told them that take this wherever the evidence, wherever the data leads you. I'm not putting restrictions. I'm not putting handcuffs on what you and your committee can come up with. Now, again, whatever policies they, they, they come up with will have to be debated uh, and adopted by the city commission. But I don't want the task force itself to feel like that there are certain areas that are off limits. I, I really do want this to be a full-bodied, uh, fulsome, comprehensive uh, review. Uh, of where we have been as a city, uh, how can we, uh, what are some things we could do better, and some specific policy recommendations. For sure. How do you respond to the recent protests and seeing so many young people show up to commission meetings and, and voice their concerns when it comes from that policing standpoint and law enforcement relationships in the community? It, it's exciting. Listen, this is what America is all about, uh, is the opportunity to, for people to express themselves, First Amendment. And by the way, I'm going to have, uh, I, I'm reaching out to representatives of that generation, of those folks who have been on the street, to see if they'll be a part of the task force. I think it's very important for their voice to be heard as well. Any specific group in particular, or you're still... No, we're researching it. Uh, fortunately, our police department has been in touch with a number of the organizers, so I'm going to look to them to, to give me a, a name or two that I could reach out to and make sure that we get them involved. And 
I'm also having some meetings with them later this week. So. Okay. And my final question I want to ask you is, do you feel an, a, an additional pressure being a, a black mayor? What do you feel about that? Well, I don't say I feel additional pressure. I see this as an opportunity. Uh, were I not African American, maybe I wouldn't have taken this next step. Uh, to put together the task force. But I felt it incumbent upon me, certainly as the mayor and certainly as an African-American mayor. But I don't see it as pressure. I just see it as an opportunity uh, recognizing the unique position that I'm in and taking advantage of this platform.